Hey, beautiful people. I wanted to um, give y'all this short prophetic word. This is a download that I received just now um, coming out of prayer. I heard God say, and sorry for the background noise. I heard God say as a download to my soul and my spirit, I am answering your enemies by fire. Some of you have a lot of enemies that believe that God, um, for whatever reasons, I don't know their backgrounds. Some of your enemies may have backgrounds of thinking that these, this old God that people relied on is dead. There is no such thing as God uh, anymore. Some people think that um, also that who believe in the Anunnaki story. Some of these people believe that God no longer answer, uh, answers prayers uh, of the people that's on the earth because they, uh, you know, thousands of years ago they they've abandoned us and all this other stuff and some people according to other diagnostic oh, diagnostic uh gnostic or esoteric texts that they've read or whatever they believe in different forms of whatever teachings they believe that they were okay to do you harm they were okay to keep messing with you they were okay to keep putting fire around you to keep sending darts and arrows but god is saying i am answering your enemies by fire um i i did also hear in the spirit somebody said and i heard a was distinctive not a distinctive what was i heard somebody say who gonna answer on their behalf huh like like they was they was challenging whoever you believe in what you don't see is there's people that's been working against you I am also hearing for some, some of these people have been recruited by folks that know you and there's people who don't know you that's been helping them operate against you. And God is saying, I'm dismantling everything. Like I'm seeing in the back of my mind, God is crumbling. When I say God is crumbling everything, God is dismantling every, I see it in the back of my head. And I just want y'all to know, I just want y'all to know that God loves you. God is caring for you. God is keeping you. If it was not so, you would not be here. If it was not so, you would. I'm going to say this again. If it was not so, you would not be here. You've made it thus far. God is not going to allow for the enemies to swallow you up. God is not going to allow for the enemies to tear you down. God is not going to allow the enemies to be able to get the last laugh. This is it. And just like the prophets of Baal, because this is what I'm seeing, the prophets of Baal are contesting against the God of Elijah. And they did it on behalf of Jezebel, because they were her false prophets. Okay? And they said, whose God is going to answer by fire first? And they was cutting themselves cutting themselves, calling down, trying to call down power from heaven on behalf of Baal, their God, or whoever they believed in. And Elijah was mocking them. He said, you might want to cut yourself deeper and yell a little bit harder because I don't think your God is hearing you. And they were contending against the God of Elijah to make fire fall down from heaven to consume the altar of the sacrifices that they had placed down. And after a long period of time, they got, they, they waxed tired. They grew tired. And Elijah said, are you done with your show? Now I'm going to show you the true power of the living God, the God that I serve. And he took water, a bucket of water and doused the altar. 12. And he called 12 buckets of water and he doused that altar with water and he called upon the living and holy God, the sovereign God, the mighty God, the powerful God, the only wise God. And, and it disintegrated that altar, a wet altar might I have you. So God is saying at this time and in this season, God is answering your enemies by fire because they felt like they got away with what they did for you for with, towards you and to your children for so long that there can't be nothing protecting you. She just keep getting off by luck or he just keep getting by by happenstance. But God is saying, no, it is not by luck. It ain't by chance. And it's definitely not by happenstance. But it's by my mighty hand and my sovereign power that I've been protecting my children and their offspring this far. And now I'm going to show you by my might and my power how I'm going to consume you by fire. So look, I'm going to just tell you something. Get your popcorn.
Get ready. Some of you are going to see it. Some of you are going to see it. Even if you don't see it or you may hear it. You may hear about it. I don't know. You may not. I don't know. But God is saying, keep your eyes on him at this time. Just rejoice and keep telling God, thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I'm grateful for my life, for whatever you're doing in my life, what you're getting ready to do, what you've already done. Just say, I'm grateful. You don't have to explain why. Just say, I'm grateful. And walk into the best days that's going to lead you into your best life. This is your time. This is your season. God has risen you up for such a time as this. Your enemies are no more because God is answering them by fire. Peace, blessings, strong oneness to everybody who's watching me. And I, I pray for your, your mind to be sound. I pray that you have a sound mind, that it casts out the spirit of fear and that love will encompass and garrison your soul and the souls of your offspring, your children down to a million generations. I'm so grateful and thankful that you joined me this far. And I'm so grateful and thankful that I'm not alone in this journey of love and righteousness. We are prevailing. We have prevailed. I'll see y'all later. Love you.